can't stand to fly. Yeah, that one. I'm not that naive. That, Can you not do one. that again? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Trivial Debates. Put that right at the beginning of the episode right before. Welcome to Trivial Debate. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we're done. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) I'm going to fucking punch you. All right, are we ready? (laughs) I don't get paid enough for this shit. (laughs) Welcome to this week's edition of Trivial Debates. We're going to have some awesome new debates this week. I am your host, Name. <laughs> or Jody, depending on how you look at it. Uh, uh-huh. Each week, our panelists will be judged on score for their arguments, fact, passion, and creativity. Ooh. Yep. Our panelists this week are Dave Mater, Kevin Millard, uh, Jeff Mater. Jeff Mater? Yep. Of the famous Mater clan. No, we're not. <laughs> un, un, no relation. No relation. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at least not today, and as, as long as mom isn't listening. Okay. Right. Uh, how the show works, there are six rounds plus a speed round for our top two panelists. We have categories such as movies, television, music, sports, history, wild card. The two top panelists will advance to the speed round. I'm not even reading that one. Fuck it. Uh, keep in mind that you can also that's skip a to a new intro. debate. What? That's, that's a weird intro. Why would you even write that down on the paper? What? I'm not reading that. Fuck it. <laughs> no, that was the one about the fucking passionate about yeah. your arguments thing. Fuck that. I'm not doing that again. Uh, subscribe to our iTunes feed. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Tinder, and Uber. Dave now drives you around to various <laughs> porn locations. Uh, we, have ben, we have Benny in the, in the distance, too. Oh, yes. We also have Benny in the distance who's... Uh, whether you're listening to iTunes or watching the YouTube version, all links and information can be found in the episode description or at our website. Dave, what's our website? TrivialDebates.com. How do you spell that? T-R-I-P. Nah, I'm just checking. <laughs> All right. Let the battle begin. So our first question is movies. Which terrible comic book character based movie needs a reboot? And I think we'll start with Dave tonight. So my interpretation of this question wasn't that you meant a terrible comic book character. You meant more the movie was the terrible. The movie was terrible, yeah. Right. Yeah. But so. it could go either way. I'm 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 flexible. That's totally fair, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So I picked Spider Man. Spider Man uh, has how many ne- fucking times does that need to be rebooted? Yeah, well, yeah. that's what we need. And not, until they get it right, and they haven't got it right yet. And really, all of them visually repulsive. Every one of them, they're awful. That's true. I exactly. haven't seen the new ones. Yet. I don't I feel the like ones. they've been. They, I don't feel like Sp- Spider Man's one of my favorite, most favorite characters. They haven't done them right on the big screen yet. They've had five attempts. They've all sucked. Love the cartoon when I was a kid, the 90s cartoon, even the old 60s cartoon. Has it only been five five movies? Five, yeah. Five. It seems like so many more. I know. Wow. And I collected Spider-Man comics my whole life. It, it's definitely my favorite, most favorite superhero in Marvel, or he is my most favorite superhero in Marvel, and he's been kind of ruined by what the movies have done to him since the, you know, the turn of the century. So I want it to be done right. I want them to come back and actually make that character cool again. The best thing about Spider-Man is all his villains and how many crazy villains he has. He has just as many as like a Batman. He is he's He does great. have a pretty whack job he, amount of villains. He has got true. an insane amount of villains that make him that <clears throat> makes him so interesting. And so that's what his story is whatever. Like Uncle dies, you know, and things like it, it it they keep playing this out, but what makes him interesting is is his journey after that and becoming this the you know, the greatest hero on earth. And and becoming a member of the Avengers and also of the Fantastic Four later on, he's he's an amazing character and I I'm so excited that they're introducing him in Civil War coming out in May, uh, and that he will now be part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Of course, they're still going to be making it at Sony, but I feel like with Marvel involved, they can actually do this character justice for once. So, I don't know about that, but all right, 
Kevin. All right. I picked the very first comic book movie that Marvel ever did, Howard the Duck. Mm. Oh, wow. That this movie giant. is awful, but it was a phenomenon when I was a kid. It was awful, though. Even like today, oh, it's like, if you watch movie. it, it's fucking terrible. But, and I feel like but there's they, such a cult following for it. There's a cult following, and it's funny. Like the, it's, it's, it's in line with, say, a Ted reminds me a lot of Howard the Duck. And I think they could do a much better job with it now. I mean, superhero movies are shit without their comedy. If they're not True. funny, they're terrible. Age of Ultron. <laughs> not funny. Yeah. Fucking terrible. There's like three fucking funny parts in that entire yeah. movie, and it was just fucking awful. Yeah, it's watch. agonizing. Yeah, I'm with you on that. And uh, so I think, and I, I have no doubt that they're going to redo a Howard the Duck. They have to. Well, especially considering he was in like the end credit scene for Guardians, uh, Guardians. right? Yeah. Right, and it's just I think it's 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 perfect. Ted was very popular, and uh, it's it's a it's a lot That's in a in point. that in that, that line. It's uh, you know duck plucked out of his own duck world and put into the human world. Isn't he a, an alien duck? Well, he is an alien. Yes, duck. he lives on from a- his duck world to the human world. He's kind of like Alf. But a duck. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. But that's it. I think they should redo it. I think they could knock it out of the park now with better special effects. Like, like like how Howard the Duck got to fuck um, Leah Thompson. Yes. That's worth something. Well, let's let's be honest. Who wouldn't have fucked Leah Thompson back then? Yeah, like, she was now. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. All right. Maybe just to say you did. <laughs> <laughs> See, I fucked a chick from Back to the Future. Wasn't Leah Thompson on that show, Caroline in the City? Yes, she was. Yes. That was a great show. Love yeah, that. for you it would be. All right, now let's move on to Jeff. <laughs> okay, um, I kind of went a different way. I think Caroline both of your movies city. basically are movies geared toward kids. Um, my Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck no. was not. <laughs> no, I don't see that. Wait, no? no, no. Oh, uh, you said it's like an Alf. It's like a Ted. No, uh, he said uh, the well, Ted. Is Ted's not. Ted is it? Yeah, yeah. It's more like Ted is much closer to Howard the Duck. Okay, yes. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Absolutely. Fair enough. All right. I didn't know much about Howard the Duck. I've never seen the movie, so. Um, okay, but Spider Man definitely is, and that's why it's always a cheesy, crappy movie. Um, mm, good point. Uh, I picked Ghost Rider. Now, the reason why I picked Ghost Rider was because I already have an idea of, who, like, kind of who I would want to play him. All I, right. Tell I, me who, who. Pitch this to me because okay. I want to hear it. I would pick Charlie Hunnam to play him. See, now that's not a bad pick. And that makes a lot of sense because he just came out of Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. He, he knows how to ride a motorcycle. He knows how to. He could pull off the stunt motorcycle. Yeah, because, like, Nicolas look. Cage was terrible. Nick Cage was terrible. So <laughs> anything other than Nick like Cage. Like, you could tell half the time the motorcycle was on, like, a flatbed. <laughs> like, yeah. you could just tell. <laughs> <laughs> Anything other than Nick Cage, we're going to like, I think. And especially someone that actually is almost doing his own stunts. Hmm. Um, I think w- it would just be a good movie, you know? And it, they can make it rated R. They don't have to appear toward kids whatsoever. Yeah, because I can't remember what the movie was. It was rated like, it was like uh, 13. PG-13. PG 13 and something. it didn't yeah. need... To that movie could have did some, with some tits and stuff, yeah, for sure. Like you're yeah. dealing with demons like the the devil and Mephisto. Yeah. Like you, If you don't make it rated R, all you're doing is making Supernatural. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh! That is exactly what you're I'm doing. I'm really excited with the next episode of Supernatural. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, I, you know what? As a host, I should have a panel where I can just hit a button and I can mute him. And I would just like to kind of see, like, who who, like, like, who, who would direct the new Spider-Man movie? Who would direct the new Howard the Duck movie? I'm not saying who the kid's going to play. Like, I'm saying what what's the field of the movie? Is it going to be a kid's movie or is it going to be, a, you, you said, uh, make Spider-Man like, cool an, again? Is this going to be like an R-rated kind of movie or is this going like to be like a PG no. movie? Movie. It's right. gonna be PG. I just want to see how you can make him cool again without gear to torque kids, because it always ends up being the same lame movie. Like even the even the Marvel universe, whatever you call that, MCU, uh, I guess. MCU. Or? Okay, yeah, I always go to you for that. I find even like even the latest of the Marvel movies are starting to bore the fuck out of me. Like it's, Ant Man. Ant Man was. You know what? I have to give credit to Ant Man. It wasn't a bad movie. Like I like Paul Rudd, but it's. It wasn't what I would consider any sort of caliber to like, like even Guardians of the Galaxy was way better than Ant-Man, in my opinion anyway, but I don't know what you guys feel about that. Age of Ultron? Age of Ultron was terrible. If I actually, actually paid money to watch twice, that in the theater, and, uh, I would have been pissed. There was a lot just wrong terrible. in that movie. It was so fucking I loved it. out. Dave, you, you know, love everything. You, <laughs> you love every superhero, everything. There's like, 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 yeah, I understand that, and he's got a passion for it, but it's, it's... 
Well, yeah. then he should be more pissed off than anybody right. that that movie was shit. I think Dave. I think Dave, <laughs> I think, I was... think Dave can look over the shit though. I think I think Dave is more interested in the characters and seeing He's... them alive and stuff like that. Uh, right. Whereas the rest of us are like, we go to a movie to actually enjoy it and see a story. <laughs> yeah, well, and you know, uh, age story. Who... Fucking, there was no story. There's no time for a story. You're watching like. There's no time Iron for a story. Man. We were too busy trying to get all the characters into one scene why, at why, once. Why the fuck is Hulk fucking Scarlet Witch like, or Scarlet uh, Black Widow? Why is this happening? Do we need this? No. We don't need this plot line. Same. Well, the Hulk like, can't really fuck her because what if he gets pissed off? He's going to turn into the fucking Hulk. Yeah. It, well, it, Dick will I'll tell you right now. Right if, he gets, if he gets pissed off during sex with her, she's doing it wrong. Well, I'm saying after sex, if she says something, I mean, she's a woman. He's going to piss him off at some time. Has he ever well, that's true. Has yeah. he ever turned into the Hulk because you insulted him or because you got him really angry before I, by like well, not in these movies because apparently he can just turn it on like he's fucking you know whatever like he can turn it on at any moment which yeah. I think is ridiculous plot line for the Hulk that's true anyway we're going to control it we're going too far on this one all right it has uh, nothing to do with the question uh, Ghost Rider he's not like I've never liked this character that much uh, he's not that interesting to me um, quite frankly Howard the Duck is terrible I would do not want to ever see a movie with him <laughs> ever again. He is literally the worst character um, in in, right. in Marvel. Why is no he the worst? Like, it seems like he's like a kind Why of. Why is he uh, the worst? I don't they made it. a I don't terrible get... movie, and he still became I don't, incredibly popular. When I'm watching my my, right. my 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 awesome, really cool Marvel superheroes, like, I know there's no explosions like Daredevil for you and stuff. And Dave, stuff. Like... And I don't want to see this stupid little duck running around like he's Daffy Duck or really that little. Scrooge McDuck, and he's somehow part of. Um, You've never seen this movie, have you? No. Okay. <laughs> I, I, no, I, okay. Yeah, no, I did. I did. Your argument is invalid. I, no, I saw it a long time ago. At least Jeff had the balls to say he never saw it. <laughs> I, no, I, I've seen, I have seen it, but it was a long time. I was a little kid. Yeah, you don't have the slightest fucking idea what you're talking about because that's nothing like what that movie the is. The only <laughs> thing I, I know. I don't care about the movie. I'm talking and about I saw that like the I'm, last time I saw Howard the Duck was like you, 20 okay, years ago. Uh, you have in your mind that, you're, that Howard D the Duck is going to be a superhero movie. But it's, it's not. not. It's, it's not. It's going to be a comic book movie. It's a comic book movie. It's a by movie far. with a character from a comic book. He's like not a, a superhero. It's like a kick ass. You know, yeah, it's like exactly. That. Actually, that's a very good I don't. Analogy. I don't want him crossing over with the superheroes. He stays in Duck World. He already did. He was That's in why he needs his own movie. There no, because okay, he yeah, wouldn't he associate has no with your stupid fucking superheroes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, I'm fucking Spider Man. Spider Man, Gee, tell another joke, you fucking asshole. God, he's fucking annoying. Spider Man, that's what Spider Man <laughs> right. does. He, he makes right. jokes, just wisecracking. Okay. Kevin, makes no Kevin, fucking tell, sense. Tell Nobody me, needs to see that. Kevin, tell me what. Tell me why yours would be a better thing to green light than, let's say, um, a Ghost Rider movie. Oh, what, that's what a would, tough what one would make because I actually kind of like the first. Ghost Rider. Really? No. Yeah. It had There's a no liking that It had a, good, a lot I of really good story like points and a lot of good I, jokes oh, and, in that And movie. I do believe it could have been better. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it couldn't uh, have been any worse. No, Ghost Rider 2 couldn't have been yeah, any worse. Yeah, it could have been Spider-Man. I never even saw 2. Well, I, I don't like I could barely get through one. Uh, I'm not defending any of the Spider-Man movies made so far. Well, you, why is your movie going okay, to be better? I think just but the problem is they've tried it five times and they still fucked it up. So, like, it's done. No, because Kevin Feige is getting involved now. He's the genius behind Marvel. He can do no wrong. Everything he's done so far for Marvel has been brilliant. I'd love it. Age of Ultron is great. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Okay. Slag it off. Age of Ultron yeah. is great. You're out. All right. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna give this. What? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, I'm done. Dave, I, Dave. I'm done. We're moving on. We're moving on. No, it's not Dave. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to Jeff. Oh, Ghost Rider, pulling through. Yeah. Even though I only saw about half of the first. No, I like. You were not wrong. I, I would watch a reboot. Just. But it makes so much sense. Man. I would like to see Charlie Hunnam do that. that Johnny be... Blaze is also supposed to be blonde. Did you watch Sunset? He's yet? supposed to have a. a Did a I watch what? Have you watched Sons of Anarchy yet? No. No? Really? You'd probably be really into oh, it. Oh, I totally would. I be think you would be it, into but... it. All right, so we're moving on to our television question, gentlemen. Uh, with the popularity of such uh, shows as Comic Book Men, for instance, on AMC, what other businesses would you like to see made into like a mo uh, a, a TV show? All right. So, like, when I read this question, Betty said, um, "Is Comic Book Men popular?" <laughs> well, it, it is. It is you for a lot of people. Pawn Stars is super popular. Pawn Stars is probably one of the highest rated shows yeah. right now. Sadly, That's a good, good answer for that. and yeah. Comic Book Men is the poor man's Pawn Stars. It really yeah, is. You know? it, it kind of, it, well, it's the geeky Pawn. It's the geeky yeah. Pawn yeah, Stars. Yeah, it's yeah. the geeky Pawn Stars. All right, so we're gonna start off with Kevin. All right, I thought Las Vegas Concierge. And they go to the different hotels, 
and follow around these concierges. Imagine the weird shit that they get asked. Oh yeah, like and I need I need I five need... pounds of Sundays and yeah, yeah, well, and, yeah. and three hookers in my room. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like what exactly <laughs> and a turkey or something like that. Like it's just crazy shit. Yeah, I would love to watch that and or even just them fielding the complaints and all all of that stuff. Those, these shows like this are wildly popular. I was actually surprised that there wasn't a show about a hotel concierge yet. So, and this show could branch out different cities, different large cities. Yeah, you could have like an Atlantic over. City one. Right. You could have like a, you know... A, a I new... just think that'd be fucking hilarious. It's right in line with all the shows that are popular now. Yep. Yeah. All right, Jeff. I said, hey, follow me around because I couldn't really think of anything. Um, uh, but you have to actually give your answer the way you my, gave it to me. Okay, my answer is Mater Mo's best grass cutting yeah uh, so you know, we're gonna I almost picked my job yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, uh, if, like if we're gonna be doing it. advertising i think we should get paid uh <laughs> i'm okay with the advertisement yeah it's an answer right i'm just saying like you know we get a documentary what's the through. website for your company anyway matermostbest.com matermostbest.com i haven't quite built it yet oh okay i'm still waiting but maybe i'll hire you to, to do maybe. it for me all right well we'll, we'll chat yeah so uh, you know i can't think of a more boring fucking show but I think it would be hilarious. Then a co- documentary film crew which was following me around. Okay, I got to cut Miss Old Lady's house today. She comes out in her nightie and goes, here's your truck. And then I, you know, and I'm like, thanks. And Has that goes, happened to you? Happens like, all the fucking time. Really? Like all, people all, come out? All the fucking <laughs> okay, time. no, I'm intrigued now. I want to hear a little bit more about this. So. You know, and I, I just can't think of anything like more funny than like, well, not funny, but just like if you're clicking the channel. So, like you have like old ladies coming out and moo moos yeah. giving you checks Give and shit. It, oh, fuck. All the time. I, really? I have one client that does it all like every time no I see her. yeah and so huh. uh it's just it's it's fantastic uh i guess i can't think of a funnier thing to click flick through the channels and th- and you see that and you're like what <laughs> is this this is why is this guy mowing a lawn and why is there a crew following and, and why thought, am i watching it this must get better yeah this, <laughs> and, and then i thought hey aren't all business shows basically like this yes they oh are. yeah they and, are. and yeah. i was like you know what why can't it be my job fuck everyone else and all these stupid business shows like i cut hair i fucking i i, I design clothes <laughs> Whew, fuck you i, I cut grass <laughs> <laughs> i cut grass fuck you all want to want to see me do this rake this lawn yeah why i put leaves on a tarp and then i move the tarp to the curb watch this time-lapsed <laughs> video of me yeah. doing it yeah <laughs> that, and that would be the whole show and then it'd be like and jeff shipping wars it's literally guys oh, driving that, stuff yeah. across the country but interesting things Yes. Well, it's sometimes interesting yeah. things. You have, to, you have to do something interesting on the show. My the, my interest. It's well, different kind have, of leaves depending on where I am. Pine needles. So you have maple like, leaf leaves. I think that, you'd be like, it would be, you'd be like, how do I deal with this today? And then, and then I'd be like, the best part of it would be the cutaways yeah. that they would do to you and be like. Sometimes I have to do pine leaves. Sometimes <laughs> I have to do maple leaves. Sometimes Sometimes there's no leaves at all. <laughs> Sometimes I got to blow out the bush because the leaves get in, stuck in the and bush. Je- and Jeff, you could do like a Christmas special where you're like half of it's just you putting the plow you're on the truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're, in the, you're in the truck and they're, they're doing that one where they're right like beside you in the truck. And you're like, we're just going to pull into a Tim Hortons here and get a coffee. <laughs> and, then, and then you see Jeff. He's like, oh, fuck, no drive through. Yeah. Like you did today. Fuck, no drive through. I got to get I got to go in. And <laughs> that is a show. I'm telling you, that's a show, and it would work. Yeah, exactly. uh, I got the salt. You'd get like uh, seven seasons out of that. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is, you would. I you would. really would. Yeah, put the salt on the and ice, your, and it your melts. Christmas specials can be like how you clear like walkways of mm-hmm. ice and shit. Right. Yeah. Basically, my show would be about the weather. Like this yeah. winter, there was no fucking like. Yeah. So snow. you're like, fuck it. So it's like I can't rake <laughs> nothing, and there ain't nothing so to plow. Just, just be sitting around going, fuck it's not snowing. <laughs> 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 All right, I got to clean up the garage. I got to organize my garage. And like a promo for like next week's episode is like Jeff standing outside a window going, fuck, I hope it snows. <laughs> Looks like it's going to snow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's move on. All right, Dave. Yes. Tell me what you tell me what you want here. Well, okay. I kind of went along the same lines as Jeff in that I picked something that's familiar to me. Uh, I picked advertising agency. 
Advertising agency. Yeah, okay. for sure. Like, you know, there's already uh, Mad Men, which was a fictionalized version of a 60s ad agency. Yes, it was. And I feel like a modern day uh, show where they're doing pitches to companies, but how to like alter their brands and make them new and innovative and the struggles that go with that and the pushback you get from clients. Clients will fucking like they'll fire you in an instant if you're not performing. Do, and- do, do women show up in Moo Moo's to pay their bill for for that, though? No. <laughs> okay, then that's that's a that's a point Not against. Yet. That's a point four, Jeff. That's a point four. No, it's more sophisticated, like a like a downtown New York ad <laughs> agency, like FCB or something like along those lines, would be perfect. You're talking about something I have no idea about. Well, that it's just that's a is company. that a big agency? That's a big agency. Oh, okay. That's Fair the big enough. one of the biggest in the world. Oh, okay. And something like that, where you're like, de- like they're like, okay, Coca Cola this week. How, what are we going to do with this brand? And then like Nike's next. And it's like, kind of already have that show. It's called Dragons Den. No, but that's more for investors. Well, that's a, that's a entrepreneurial. Yeah, this is a completely different thing. I'm talking mm-hmm. real like he's, big he's, blue he's talking about like so oh, just you know, showing yeah. the process of coming uh, up with uh, coming up commercials, commercials and, 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 and like and, and billboards and all that stuff and how it produces. Like they kind of did it already in like uh, The Apprentice. You know, when they do these certain missions where like you have to advertise this or create this ad for like this product, right? Right, and it's the same kind of thing. It would be like showing the team. There would be like. People who work in the agency, they'd all be the characters and it would all like you'd have a president and all like, you know, they do versions of this. But I think like proper show about an advertising agency would easily be popular and and crazy. All right. So in one minute or less, tell me what would be a really funny thing to happen in your show, Kevin. Jeff comes in and asks for Maple Leafs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to rake any. Even better, he comes in, goes, can you fucking make it snow? <laughs> <laughs> you can have like a tie-in episode. I got I to gotta fucking move to like Tennessee because I'm, I'm done with right, this Right, if, if one of the shows is slipping, it's a crossover. Yeah, and then Jeff could have like a crossover episode as well where he's like, oh, somebody's calling me and it's like, it's Kevin. And he's like, I need you to clear like the front yard of a hotel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you? Tell me uh, a quick, funny uh, event that would happen in your show. You think? I, I think fuck it, like Kevin nailed it. Like it would just be like <laughs> me standing around. Like uh, honestly, what pretty much everyone does in my industry is like he's right. Like we, you know, get up in the morning, gotta go get Tim Hortons, and then you know, <laughs> all right, pulling up to the first customer, and then you know, you get it done, and you're like, okay, the Joey, be, Joey's got to have a smoke break. Wait, would it, would it be <laughs> what's <laughs> funny? What's funny is that's basically Dog the Bounty Hunter. Like it's yeah, the same it fucking it show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it really is kind of the same show. You know, I would <laughs> seriously watch four seasons of that just looking at Ashley, go, look at this asshole why would anybody watch this <laughs> <laughs> and you know what if i were right. to pitch this show that someone's be like give this kid a show dave what would be a um what would be a funny instance that would happen in your show do you think i think every episode would be hilarious i think there'd be How some, so i think there'd be so much drama and like and oh so you're going on like, kind of like the reverse drama? like an uh, in inner office thing like Susie wants to do it this way yeah but yeah. dave says and, otherwise and jib's fucking Beth and like whatever, <laughs> right? And oh, so it'd and be like, like a soap opera, and then of. like Mater Most Best comes in and they want a big com- TV <laughs> commercial. <laughs> he wants a TV commercial to pitch his new idea. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, honestly, out of all three of you, I, I I don't know who I'd pick, but if I had to watch one of these shows religiously, it would be Kevin's. So I'm gonna go with Kevin's because it's it's. Like, let's be honest. Like I didn't that, to win. <laughs> but honestly, you, you yeah, had but we very, all kind of helped you yeah. along on that. One. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had a very close second, though. Thank I will you. tell you right Thank now. You. I was third. Uh, yes, you were. I would never watch your show. That would be <laughs> terrible. <laughs> like all you did was pitch Mad Men. Now, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. that's all you really did. That's You're like of... there'd be like people fucking each other, and it's yeah. like okay, you well, can't do that now though. Human resources and all that. Uh, yeah, exactly. But yeah. Music. All right. We're song mentioning or about a comic book character. So obviously, you know, songs. There's not that many of them, actually. I thought there would be a lot more. The worst one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got it. All right. I think I get to go I first. I think it's you. Yep. I picked uh, Hero by Chad Kroger and uh, whoever Max. the hell helps him out. It's not a song about superheroes. Yeah, it's about Spider-Man. Yeah, it is. It's about Spider-Man. What's, what are the lyrics that talk about Spider-Man? It doesn't matter. Spider-Man. It's totally about Spider-Man. It's Everybody about Spider-Man. The song was written for the movie. 
Yeah. Pretty one hard. of the one of the five terrible movies that they've already made of yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a it's a stretch, but okay. It's not a stretch. It's a, it was written for that movie. I'm allowing it. I will say that I did actually have to look up the song because I didn't really know it, quite honestly. But I looked up the song, and that was one of the things. I hate to it say it, but I know this song. I know you would. You would. Yeah. <laughs> did it ruin your life? But. No, it didn't ruin my life, but... Uh, <laughs> not like Hanson. No, it's not fuck like Hanson. Yeah, fuck Hanson. Yeah, it's not specifically about... Um, like, he never says, it's Spider-Man will save us. No. But it's basically what he's, he, he does sued. now. Well, he, <laughs> yeah. he should, anyway. In the lyrics, he talks about the wings of a hero. Yeah. Spider-Man does yeah. not have wings. Well, he, he flies. He, he flies. He swings. He swings. Which he's, he's in the air. He's in the air. It's not on the swings of a hero. Bette Midler doesn't have wings either. It's a fucking <laughs> <metaphor. It's> a song. <laughs> <laughs> You're so literal. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's, it came out when I was in like grade eight or whatever that fucking Spider-Man two came out, and uh, it just it, it did uh, it didn't ruin my life. Jesus, it, I'm old. It was pretty close, Kevin. It was um, it was on the like much music. Like every third song, it was on the radio. Like every fourth song, yeah. I was, I got tired of it, and it was the only superhero song I could really say that about. Most, like we were saying before, most superhero songs they're pretty much all about Superman, and they're almost yeah. all good songs. So I don't know. I couldn't think of another song that was worse than this that I could remember. Fair enough. All right, Dave. Okay, what did you have? I have a song by Crash Test Dummies called "Yes, You Did." Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough. Tarzan wasn't a ladies' man. What the fuck's the song about? It's about the death of Superman. Yeah. Okay. And how sad it is he died and how Tarzan was like just a, a dumb guy who stayed in the jungle and could only like put together three words. I, Tarzan, you, Jane. But Superman right. could have smashed into any bank in the United States, right? right. And like he could have, but he would not and he, because he was a great guy and he was... The best guy ever. Right. Right. And we all know this is not true. Superman is not the best person. Well, not not according to Miss. No, that'd be Snaps Aquaman. Next. <laughs> that'd be Aquaman. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's such like this uh it, it's such it's such a blow job for Superman. A blow job <laughs> for a dead Superman, right? <laughs> Did you just say blow job for Superman? Dead Superman. For dead <laughs> <laughs> Oh sorry. <laughs> I forgot the qualifier of dead. So, so, Excuse so, me. So it's not a normal blow job. They're this, is like, this, is, this guy's a necro dead. blow job. <laughs> this is a necro job. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I might, yeah, give it, I might give it to you just for that. That was funny. Written as a good song, but it's a terrible song because it's about Superman being the be- the best person who ever lived, uh, not only physically but also morally and spiritually. And uh, that's BS. We all know it. Do they so. only talk about Tarzan? Is that it? No, they talk about Superman too, but they talk about both of them, comparing them okay. throughout the song. Okay. And the music video is like every, all these like no name superheroes coming to his funeral, mm. and it's just like Crash Test Dummies doing their fucking normal shtick, right? right. With the fucking violins and the 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 that really deep voice guy singing. Mm. Would you, you say it's a bad song or a good song? It's both. It's like it, it was a song for its time. Mm. It like works in its time in the '90s when it was made. But like right, looking right. back on it, it's not like a great song to listen back to. Okay. That's true. It really isn't. It's aggravating even. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin. Well, I couldn't think of fucking anything, so I just mailed it in, picked the 1966 Batman theme <laughs> because it sounds like it was written by somebody with severe Down syndrome. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> One word. And almost a word. So like one and a quarter words in the entire song. Batman and nah. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Only nah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'll spit that all over my mic. Yeah. <laughs> yours is, mine is the opposite of yours. Mine is like a bunch of garbled words. <laughs> <laughs> no, one word. One word. <laughs> And a quarter. I know. know. (laughs) And and whenever the music comes on for that band, it's not really a song though. It's a theme song, which is a completely different theme. theme Theme song. song. It's about a superhero. Should have just said it was a theme. I agree. It's a song, but it's a theme song. It's a different set of rules than a typical song. I think I'm the judge of that. Well, that's my opinion. I'm just putting it out there. Fair enough. It is definitely different than the 
the two the other two that were picked but, but it's it's really bad even as a theme it's terrible yeah every time it comes on i go oh and, and it's I, it's <laughs> and i mean it's catchy everybody knows it but they all know it because it sounds like it was written by somebody with severe down syndrome yeah. it's easy and, yeah. it's i think easy to remember i think in the case of jeff's this is my opinion for you to consider jody all right that it was yeah it was it was it's part of that soundtrack for that movie and perhaps it was written for the movie i like that fact checked but they also what, did what sorry i don't so they did, what do you want fact checked I, that it was actually written for the movie what the the theme song for batman no no his jeff song <laughs> oh okay i'm like because it wasn't it, it was wasn't. written for the show <laughs> oh, okay but, yeah. jeff song uh Wings of the Hero, or whatever. Hero, right? Um, and they did the, they did a second music video for that song, where it was not anything to do with, with Spider Man in it, right? And they uh, I went, didn't know that. And they went out on tour doing that song completely separate from anything to do with Spider Man. So they so were trying was, to get. I so just, they they were just using it to like promote their song more than than the movie needed this. Like you know what I mean? Like it's a song not, they don't reference Spider Man directly. It's it could be listened to True. and enjoyed separately from anything to do with a comic book character. So therefore, I feel like it's a weak. Interpretation. Are you trying to argue the best or the worst? Well, I just don't feel like he's qualified. I'm trying to get him disqualified. <laughs> oh, um, I it was. I just, I just looked it up. It was written for the movie. Really? Yeah. Uh, but Kroger had an idea for a movie called uh, for a song called Hero. He asked this guy to come up to record it, and they were like, "Yeah, let's like let, let's sell it to." to Spider-Man. They knew they were going to sell to Spider-Man. Yeah. A few fun facts about that song. Uh, right. 2002 MTV Video Music Award for Best Video for a Film. That's how bad the song was. They were like, the video was pretty good, but the song is shit. You know, and the reason why the song, the video was good is because it had Spider-Man in it. You know, uh, the song, it says right here, the song was written uh, for the movie Spider-Man. The web crawler is the hero that will save us. So, n- disqualification at my ass. <laughs> no, no, there's definitely no disqualification. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, I wasn't going to disqualify him anyway. Like, fucking, it was I good. I thought I had good you answer. going. Good answer. All right. You know what? I'm just going to give it because I, I think this person actually did argue it correctly. I'm giving it to Dave. Woo! For, 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 I didn't know his song, so I couldn't really, yeah. you know, discount him. Fair enough. Fair enough. Argue against him. Excellent choice, Jody. But uh, <laughs> uh, the one that I hate listening to the most is fucking the Batman theme song. <laughs> I, I hate listening to that. I uh, actually love it because I love the show. Like the mm, show brings the me back great. to when I was a little kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When it comes on, like, but I, it's it's terrible. It's like, so bad. It's, uh, if, oh. if you even like, if you compare it to other superhero or other the other shows <laughs> of the time, it, it's terrible. Like the Spider Man theme at that time. Has words really, was really good too. Everyone had loves more that. than a one and a quarter word, and it doesn't sound bad. It doesn't hurt your ears no. to listen to it. No, and it's just as ubiquitous. I mean, everybody can sing yeah. it. Yeah, Spider Man, Spider Man, right? Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's move on to the sports question. Which comic book character would be the best at playing hockey? I guess being a hockey player. And I think we're and Jeff with... is very confident with yes. this one. Yes. We're we're uh, we're back to Dave, I believe. I picked Deadpool, Wade Wilson, uh, and the reason being, he's Canadian. He's yes. mouthy. Yes. He's, he's scrappy. He would definitely. He has a healing factor. He can. It's hard to hurt him. He can always regenerate, and he's a rock'em sock'em tough guy. And uh, I'm um, all I'm all about it. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's about it. That's my argument. Excellent, Kevin. My pick has everything that your guy has. I pick Casey Jones. Ah. Oh. Except to Good be pick. a great hockey player, you also need to be a team player. Is Deadpool a team player? No. I yep. think fucking no. Oh, oh Casey that's Jones a works as a part of a team. I like that good burn. point. Good point. I like that burn. He's a sports oh, fanatic. Oh, look at Dave. Dave even knows he's, he's been beat. He's look a, at him. He's, he's, a, got, he's a sports fanatic, dude, he's, obviously. No, he's got that picture on his face like, oh, man. <laughs> I just way well, too early. Well, like, like, that's basically what he just looks be, like now. To be honest, I haven't, I haven't seen this Deadpool movie yet, and, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, you know, the movie in, in the trailer, in the trailer, Deadpool is working with the X Men. He's working with Colossus, who's a Russian, and Russians are hockey players too, so he can get along with Russians. 
<laughs> right? And, uh, All right. Anyway, let's go on to Jeff. <laughs> I sure. picked Wolverine. Also Wolverine. Canadian. Also has a healing factor. Also is quick-witted. Also would get in fights, but also is a team player. He's on the X-Men. So he has both best of both of their answers. Mm. Um, he, he he smokes cigars. Like He's like a hockey player from the 60s. You know? like <laughs> Actually, he, he, yeah, that's a good point. You know, he's just like he's a womanizer. Uh, it's just a fucking man. And All Wolverine right. is... Well, you can't say that Casey Jones is not a man. No, he's the yeah. man. I said. No, Casey Jones is, is a is uh, is a, a good be, pick. is a better it's pick it. than. Uh, he also knows how to use a hockey stick already. Yeah, that's a big. Yeah, game. that's I, a big plus. And he right wears there. a hockey mask already. He's already hockey but related. He, he's pretty much already hockey. Yeah. Right, right. See, now you have to decide. Does that make sense though? Because if he's not really, if he was already a hockey player, then he can't be made one. How do you take the question? I don't know. We'll Casey see. Jones loves sports. I don't know about. You got to have a passion as oh, well. Yeah. Got to have a passion. True. Casey, for Casey the Jones likes all sports. Got to right, be, all right. but he's got a passion for sports. I don't think Wolverine does. He Doesn't has a Casey Jones for give me, rooting. All right, Dave, give me a thirty-second as to why yours is better than these two. I just think Deadpool is like a way funnier character. Would be a way more interesting player to watch than either of these two. Basically, that they're a little bit duller and maybe a little bit more brutal. I think that mm. Deadpool would be more of a star. More of a selfish player, like an Ovechkin, and he, you know, he, uh, <laughs> like an Ovechkin. <laughs> yeah, and he he could, he could definitely work. With I don't know like, what an Ovechkin I, is, but I, I don't think it's a good thing. <laughs> and I, I disagree. I feel like well, Deadpool, hockey player. Deadpool can no, be a team player when it yeah. suits him, and in, in a hockey scenario, it would. So he would definitely be a good good player. He he he's, he's not a team he's, player though. He's selfish all. though. He's it, selfish. It, they would make it work. No, they wouldn't. The team would make it no. work. They would use him in the, the way that, that it was necessary. I feel like Deadpool would just slice a guy's head off when he like looked at him the wrong way, and then they, he'd get arrested or something. Deadpool would be like the, <laughs> Deadpool would be the guy that's Wolverine, sitting in, like the at the bench while he's waiting. Wolverine to play, and Casey like, Jones are both violent. Like they're both. They cre- are, but Wolverine's a good guy. Not really. Like he's neutral. In what world is he not? Casey a good guy? Jones is a good guy. Vigilante. Absolutely, he is a vigilante. But he's. Yeah, he breaks Dead, the law. Deadpool is like he. he <laughs> yes, every he vigilante breaks, he breaks you, the law. The best thing was how he <laughs> delivered that, though. Did you see how he did it? He went like this. He went, "Okay, watch, watch my eyes," because that's what he was doing. He was doing this. He's going, "Yeah, well, it would be like, oh. <laughs> like, like he got like really, really upset all of a sudden. Did you notice that? It's just like he almost teared up." No, not true. Casey, look, at, look at him. He's Casey already, Jones oh, he's just like, seems oh. like a hockey player to me. No. He just does. So does he, Wolverine. He's, he's got the, yeah. the attitude. He's the, got right. the team spirit. He's American. And Jeff, he's got the passion for Jeff gives for me 30 seconds now. Tell me why yours is better than these two. Um, I would just – I think uh, I've already made my points for the Deadpool. Um, oh, for but, sure. But for Casey Jones, um, I'd just say that Casey Jones, if you can compare the players, Wolverine is made of metal. He could beat anyone up. He could score a goal at whim just because he could push the guy out of the way, get the puck, boom, in. Casey Jones doesn't have the powers that Deadpool and Wolverine do, but Wolverine is superior to Deadpool. I feel like the, the NHL, though, would would – stop somehow outlaw him using any powers or anything because but, it would become boring i mean they brodeur like all he did was come out of the net and they outlawed that right. like, oh yeah <laughs> right but they true. would they might not know how strong he is unless he like gets the claws going you know, you don't know that Wolverine is not human. But the first time he That's throws true. somebody through the boards, you're going to know <laughs> well, that he's really yeah. strong. True. <laughs> true. True, true. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think I've made my decision. I'm going to go with Kevin on this one. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> was I close? No. Uh, was I the best thing is, you were already beat, and your brother's like, I'm going to get him again. <laughs> 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 which, which made it even better. <laughs> All right. So we are now on to the worst one, unfortunately, for me anyway, uh, is... Uh, history. If you had the ability to erase one comic book <laughs> character from history, who would it be? And uh, we're now on Kevin, I believe. Yeah. Robin. Fucking Robin. From Batman and Robin? Robin. Batman Why? And Robin. I like Robin. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> the, no, Robin from everything. Everything. From the very first comic, Robin. Even the comic? First like of the all. the comic book. Really? Yes. Really? First yeah. of all. Even the TV show? Yes. You take him out of the TV yeah, show. I, it's worth it just to have him gone. Really? Yes. Okay. Because first You got a passion. Of, first I'll give you that. First of all, he's with Batman. Okay. Bats. Well, I don't think he's with kind of, Batman. Okay. I think yeah, he's yeah, just, yeah, well, maybe he is with the show, Batman. maybe. You've seen the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but Batman, uh, bats are scary. 
if you never see some anybody, people, yep, you never see anybody fucking running around their backyard like they're fucking getting shot at because a robin is chasing them. Well, or a robin true. is like, why robin? Yeah. Nobody. It's, that's not scary. That's well, not it's anything. The, it's the lightest birdish kind of stupid thing, right? It's oh, like, it's oh, fucking it's retarded. The, it's the graceful. Oh, good. That's his bird. fucking power. He's the lightest well, bird. Well, that's why his last name was Grayson it's or something, stupid. right? He's annoying. Robins are Batman are, improved immensely. Whenever they leave Robin out, it's better. It's mm, way better. That's true. I disagree. Every disagree. time. I disagree. Uh, I, I don't think know if I disagree. I love that, the character of anyway. Robin Convince because me. what character? In anything else, is there a little boy? And he's like kind of like taken aside, and he's like, just like Batman, his parents are killed. It's a mentor thing. His parents are killed. There's something about that character that's like, that's not present anywhere else in superhero lore. Like the real version. For a reason. It's irritating. Uh, (laughs) I think it's kind of cool. He's awful. The the real version of Robin, who's like a 13 or 14 year old kid, that he turns into this amazing vigilante. Right. Right. And then. Yeah, that'd get you child services. I know. That's the thing. That's the whole thing about Batman. He's fucking crazy. Crazy. He is and nuts. <laughs> yeah, he, he will take a kid and turn him into a crime fighter. Yeah, because you know, because why not? Damn why it? not? And, and the Batman, and, and then the fucking mo- Batman. <laughs> in the movies, he has to be a thirty-year-old Chris O'Donnell, and you're like, this is not the character. You know? There's a reason they leave him out of most of the stories and most of the movies. Yeah, no, it's because true. he's awful. Cr- no, awful. it's because they don't want to do him right. They don't want to make it a kid. But then they do a movie like Kick Ass, and there is a kid that's you know basically what Robin is, but hit yeah. with Hit Girl, yeah, and, and then everyone likes it, you know. Yeah. So it's just like do it right, you know. Yeah, but, if you do it right. But then when you're watching like Kick Ass, you're like, this is a fucked up world. It's fucked mm. up. Like Nicolas Cage is clearly crazy. Yeah. That he raised his daughter of this, uh, and he's basically a Batman <laughs> in that movie. They're Dave's kinda, like, if I ever had a daughter, I'd totally do this though. <laughs> no, right. I, oh, you're thinking about it now. Well, if I, if like she showed talent like you know. <laughs> <laughs> like like if i think she could be really really good yeah, at being yeah. a professional killer yeah. then yeah. like yeah i think that would be a good one i would support her in that dream. i'd support her in that trade <laughs> do you know what kind of money that girl could make <laughs> yeah like it's kind He's of like that's better than horan <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> All right, I Jeff. I, I don't think you, did you give us an answer. I, I think you were just rebuttaling on him, right? No, yeah. No, yeah still, let, let's let's hear your so. answer. Okay, my answer is to uh, Aquaman. Aquaman, because which I thought Kevin would have grabbed. Because fuck Aquaman. I was going to do Aquaman for everything, but <laughs> you okay. should have. That would have been good for the TV uh, one. Aquaman's yeah. main oh, ability God. is his telepathy to compel and manipulate sea life. That's like his main power. You know, he can swim really fast and shit. He can't leave the ocean. How is that relatable to anybody in, like, hum- humanity? Like, who's like, I, oh, I know yeah. I know what that's like to live in the water. <laughs> you know, like, he's like a character that is, like, the most ridiculous character. It's like having a character that's like a bird. And it's like... Like I a robin? Le- like a robin, <laughs> yeah. But he's a he's a little boy. He's not actually a bird. Um, it'd be like you know, it's like it's like the fish man, and it, uh, you know, so we, uh, and there are bird man characters, but they're not birds. You know, he's literally a fucking fish, and it it, it, it is and it's like ridiculous. You know, uh, able to swim at incredible speeds, long distance jumping, accelerated healing factor, master of Atlantean combat. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, this character is the most ridiculous character. I can't believe he's this old with this many fucking, like, I, th- th- this rich of a fucking background. It might go without saying, but I really like Aquaman. Oh, I, I figure really you like, like everything. Aquaman? Yeah. You, you wow. like everything. Name me a superhero you don't like. Well, I guess you're about to, but he, he has an immunity to freezing temperatures. Wa- water adapted well, fish do too technically that's what i mean he's a fucking fish yeah he's a fish he's a fish yeah. man he's a fish, he's a fish man, man. absolutely it's, he's basically a merman what do you think it's, it's like, like you showed us a fish guy what do, think, what do you think it's like having sex in the deep depths of the ocean? I don't know, Dave. Let us know what happens. That's where my mind goes. <laughs> well, that, that's what they do down there. Atlantis, mm. they fuck. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's just like, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> that came from Dave yeah, Mater. I get, Trademarked. Yeah, I just, I just don't think it's a character you can relate to in any way. And it's just mm. kind of, there's a reason why he hasn't, met, there's been no movie about him, only in Entourage. They made a fake movie about him. And now he might be in Batman v Super man which will probably just be awful because what's he gonna do well, like be in the water hey guys 
I want to help, but I can't. You know, <laughs> get on the water. <laughs> but if you ever have a problem over here in the water, you could you give me a call, okay? All right, if you're in the area. <laughs> if you're in the area, <laughs> you guys deal. We're going for crab I got the water. We're going for crabs. <laughs> We're going for crab legs. It'll be good. Yes. So that's why I picked Aquaman. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Dave. This one was hard because I, you know I, you know I love every superhero. Yes, you really are a very, very discerning taste in in some way. Yes. So I ended up settling on Howard the Duck. Yes, he did. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like, oh. <laughs> Howard the Duck is not entertaining, not uh, interesting. I hate every appearance of him ever. When he showed up in Marvel Zombies, I was outraged and wanted to throw the <laughs> book across the room. What I, in the fuck is Marvel Zombies? Yeah, it's a universe where they're all the Marvel heroes turn into zombies. Yeah, they turn into zombies. And they eat people. It's a comic book series. Yeah, it's a real... It's a, it's part of the multiverse. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what the multiverse? No. Multiverse is like... There's multiple... I know th- what a multiverse <laughs> is. <laughs> He's not fucking retarded. But I don't know <laughs> pertaining to your... Fucking comic book. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Just keep going with your answer. It's fine. Howard the Duck is the worst, and uh, I hate him. Okay. I hate him up is a that stu- all you got? I fuck him up a stupid ass. Why all do right. you hate him? Like, what's the well, reason? That's, I what just don't, the that reason? doesn't sound like hate so much. Like, I, is this one of those things, I Dave, like when <laughs> you were like six and you walked into the room and saw yeah. something to do with Howard the Duck and you're like, oh, and then it's always been ingrained in like your I, head. And now every time you see Howard the Duck, you're like, no, I used to I'll be young you and innocent. <laughs> I'll tell you something, though. If they reboot Howard the Duck, he's going to be in fucking line to see. I will not. He will. He will. If it says Marvel's Howard the Duck. Howard the Marvel's Duck. Howard the That's Duck. my <laughs> problem with him. He's Marvel's like one blemish on their perfect pantheon. Bullshit. <laughs> I don't even remember the question at this point. Oh, right. History. <laughs> History. <laughs> which, yeah, which superhero is Why would I want Which one do you want to erase? Uh, why would you want to erase either of theirs? All right. Well, give me a reason as to why you wouldn't want to. Well, For Kevin's. <laughs> Robin. Uh, like, of course, I love Robin. He's a great character. I, I, I enjoy every appearance from him. Uh, all the different versions. There's, there's like four or five distinct. You enjoy different. him in the 1966 Batman. No, oh, not, no, not, no, 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 not no, in that. No, you no. enjoy him I, in that. I take no. that as I, I hold that, and I don't enjoy Batman in that either. Yeah. So it's not the same. The villains, no, are, the good. villains are incredible. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, 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 Batman. Yeah. So that's about all I have to say about that. Yours and Jeff, is what? You don't know what Aquaman. It is. Aquaman. I like Aquaman. He's like. He's the, the DC. He's just chilling in the sea. I, actually, <laughs> br- br- actually, I'm br- waiting for shit to happen. <laughs> waiting for shit He's to like happen. a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, what? you need a guy. Of course. Not like that. What are you going to have? No ocean superhero? Of it, course you're going to have an ocean superhero. Who's the fuck is the Marvel equivalent of Aquaman? Uh, the Submariner. Submariner. Yeah. yeah. Is he cool? No. 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 <laughs> he's, more, he, he's more cool he's than more Aquaman. Cool, though, yeah. Yes, exactly. My point. Aquaman is like the original one, too. And you're like, okay, he should be better than the Marvel version. But then you just realize he's a fish man. I love yeah. that we talk about Aquaman more than any other character <laughs> on this show. <laughs> well, like, like they're both the king of the fishmen. We're giving Aquaman its props. There's two kings of the fishmen? Yeah. Yes. That is fucking that. overkill. <laughs> yeah, there doesn't need to be one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's, a- Kevin's answer is actually... I like Robin as a character in the comic books. Everything that he's been done in TVs and movies, he's a horseshit and terrible. Uh, but they never do him right. They never make him an actual boy. He's supposed to be a boy. Yeah, he's um, fucking irritating, Howard the though, du- even in the comics. Howard the Duck, Dave knows nothing about, so he's no reason... So what?! So he's no reason to be like, I fucking take this out because he, does, he you guys like Howard the Duck. So mm. like, I don't, I don't know enough about him. I go, the only thing I know about Howard the Duck is he played a guitar on a stage, and that's all I know about him. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and he talked to the Atomic. That was from like a commercial on some VHS tape you watched when you were a yeah. kid. Isn't or that something. The, that's on the movie. Howard the Duck movie it's in the movie, yeah. was yeah. a was a like a phenomenon. Like a, it really was. Yeah. Re- yeah. All right. Kevin, tell me quickly, why is yours better than Jeff's? I don't fucking know anymore. All right, fair enough. <laughs> and what about you, <laughs> Jeff? Why is yours better than Jeff's? Than time. Kevin's? Yeah. Uh, because I like the character of Robin. I fucking hate the character of Aquaman. He's dumb. Robin's a cool character if they've done right. He's a boy kid taken to under the wing of this crazy guy named Batman. And it actually makes sense in the comic books. In everything else where they try to glam it up and try to make him 30 years old, uh, it doesn't make any sense. So it's a horseshit character. He's a boy character. in the show. I'm giving it to Jeff. 
Well, I win the wild card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will you? Okay. We'll see. Damn right. I will. You haven't had a good track record with video game stuff. Do you know man. wild card is my best category? Not with video games. Oh, I know video games. You do not. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the wild card this time around boys is best comic book based video game and video games are very very special to me so we'll see what happens i don't remember who's and i believe first. it's jeff oh fuck i picked back batman arkham asylum the first one very good uh it's really good it's like it's all about you know pretty much you got to find the joker the whole the whole game right like yeah it, but you know, it's, it's like open world which is kind of nice it's open world yeah and so you can kind of like go around and you can find different like secret compartments and stuff you can find different metals and um it's kind of like uh it's kind of what's that um old game like god of war where you gotta you know you gotta yeah. hit, hit the buttons when, when it quick comes time up. events quick yeah. time events i don't know exactly what every like little function is called but yeah. it had that same feels god of war and then when i went into arkham asylum i was like wow i could it's like a full-out story it's like watching a movie yeah and that's what i liked about it was a good it was a good game and uh, sure. i think mark hamill did the voice of the joker yes and so well he's done the voice of the joker for almost everything now right and he's very good at it <laughs> i forget who did the batman voice but um kevin conroy Okay. For the game, yeah, did he? Yeah, so uh, I don't, I don't remember who did it, but um, the guy who does it for the cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it was like yeah. watching the cartoon, but you got the play, and, and it yeah. looks more real, and it looks more real. Well, it's way more real, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, and it's Arkham Asylum, which I, uh, you know, so yeah, you got there's a lot of crazy shit going. All on the crazy there. shit. You actually kind of, I actually, when I first started playing that game, I forget when it came out, but I was like a uh, in college or something. And yeah, it's probably like five years ago now. Yeah, and crazy. I was actually like scared, kind of playing the game. I was like, what's gonna pop out of me? Well, I'm fucking. Yeah, there was up. a lot of like shit that would just like show up. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you get like mugged once in a while. And yeah, shit like that. yeah. I so. think my kids played a demo version. Of it's this. good. It it's pretty really good. cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I dug it. Arkham City was pretty good too, but I Arkham played. Asylum had just kind of its own little kind of grittiness to it. Anyway, Dave picked uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, that game was from two thousand six. That is kind of an RPG kind of style game. It's got a, a whole story about Earth being attacked uh, by a number of supervillains, Doctor Doom, and yeah. and they're all teaming up, and they all got this nefarious plot to work together to take over so they have all the marvel heroes they got spider-man the x-men they got the fantastic four yeah um and you can mix and match everybody you can ever think of is almost available to play you got to go through all these different kinds of uh scenarios you get to pick like the characters that are part of your team yeah Yeah, and you like you like just pick like all the different x-men it goes x-men or like you know if you pick avengers Avengers, if you pick like certain characters so you can have iron man you can have uh the thing and whoever and you, you go around, and you, it's very comic accurate. They have a lot of uh, subtext where you're learning about who these characters are. You go to Stark Tower. There's Hank Pym. There's you're 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 running through Atlantis. You're swimming yeah. through Atlantis, and you got all the, like the. So it's very faithful to its source. It's faithful, material. very faithful to the source material. It's a lot of fun to play. You can upgrade the characters constantly uh, with all their abilities, and especially like 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 character. My favorite was Iceman. I just have so many good things to say about this it's game. True you do, yeah. It and is. it was so much fun. I played it on game. the Wii. That was what how the platform I played it on. It was a, so much fun, like especially with Iceman. You could like. Upgrade his freezing abilities. It was so much fun. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Did you see like the hands that he just did? The so much fun. <laughs> he, he definitely enjoyed this game. I'm getting oh, yeah. that vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he definitely sure. enjoyed this game. And a on lot. that note, because I don't want you to blow a load and hit another stand. Or the uh, same one. <laughs> yeah, he obviously don't. has a favorite mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's mine. I, I pass the floor to Kevin. <laughs> All right. Well, I went a little, show. little old school. You did, yeah. I did the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES. I want to hear your logic on this because this game was fucking awesome. Except the water level. I love the water. The water level is terrible. Water level, best water level ever fucking oh, made. Oh come on, yeah, that was just absolutely. a suicide. Every time it was you, you, fucking you'd, awesome. every time your turtle touched any of the seaweed, it would be like electric yep. seaweed. Yeah, I remember them. this game. It and was fucking awesome. You this would lose game, every I, fucking I, turtle on that game, level. This game, Ashley wanted me to pick Turtles in Time. That would have been a good pick, in my opinion. Original is a better pick, because it's it's yeah. a side-scroller, same as Turtles in Time. It's also a tops-down. It is, yeah. 
and it's also like an RPG. You had four characters you could switch out at any fucking yeah, time. Yeah, you had to, if you started you had to, to heal die, them and shit. You, yeah. could, you could switch. You had to heal to, them. Yeah. And, yeah. It was all those things mixed together. Yeah. Fucking hours of entertainment on this game. It was a fucking you game. You wanted to fucking, that fucking play damn it over and over me off. again. And it's it's I can I still consider that the best water level ever made. Water oh. levels are they're usually horrendous. Usually like, even in Mario, horrendous. Even in Mario, oh, you're like, fucking are, water level. Mario's right. are the worst. Those fucking goddamn fish with wings or whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. The big gills. The yeah. worst. But fish with wings? Whatever. Well, they, they look like fucking, wings, though, the way like they're animated. Are, it's awful. Yeah. It's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> like Super Mario World This was one of my favorite games for NES. This and like Dragon Warrior. It was too hard. It was, uh, Dragon Warrior was, it was awesome. It, no, you know what? It wasn't too hard. Games today are too fucking easy. You can't fucking die. Right, you right. can't. They're too easy. They're right. for mindless. I'm a goobers. bit. I'm a bit younger than you, right? So, right. When I was playing that game when it first came out, too, like it was super hard. It's like Mega Man. Which the game? Fir- the first Mega oh, Man. Oh, Mega Man's are awesome. The they're first so Turtles hard. game. They're yeah. so difficult. The first yeah. Turtles game was a hard game. How old? Yes. Uh, what year is that game? Like eighty nine. Uh, yeah, it would have been something 89, like 90, that. somewhere Okay, around. so I'm six. You guys are like... More than six. You're, pro- <laughs> you're probably like 12, right? It's like probably a lot easier for you to play at that age. But for us, like for me, me and Rich, who were, Rich was like two years younger than me, we're like, we're, that game was so hard for us to play. And it was mm. it was so frustrating. We spent hours playing it. Well, even like me, like I've been... like I was like a few years ago playing Mega Man, the original Mega Man. Oh, that's and, hard. And I was, oh, so, I, so hard. hard. I was playing it. The first five. I couldn't five get past. Terrible I couldn't get the, past the first level for like an hour. I was just Two trying, was trying, to beat, trying to beat it, trying to beat it. Rich walks in. He's like, oh, you play Mega Man? I go, yeah. Can you do this? And he's like, boom, shoot that, boom, boom. And he'll go up the ladder. All right, I'm good. All right. I was like, what the fuck, you man? Yeah. But anyway, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this game was... Uh, ahead of its time, it was. It was. It was a hard game. It was, but a, it was hard a good game, game, but it was. It 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 had so much it was to it. It had yeah. so many different. Plus, it mixed it up every so often a lot. Right. It mixed it up a lot. Yeah, it did. All right. How do you choose? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. They're also different, um, you know, because Davis is a big like smorgasbord of superheroes. Um, yeah. Kevin's is like a r- old game that's. R- you like, could you, you know, could argue that Kevin's is almost more based on a cartoon than a comic book. Oh, I knew he was going to make this uh, argument. That isn't valid with me because I t- I read the comics before the cartoon ever came. But they didn't have the colored masks, the different no, colored in the masks. But the, they were all but, technically red back but, then. But this video game did. <laughs> so, <laughs> therefore, yeah. invalid. invalid. What, <laughs> is, what is the TV show based on? Well, the comic book. But they invent- And then the... Okay, so it's all based on the comic book. Which would Fuck be off. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. If you I choose like to. If, Fuck if, off. Where was the first appearance of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah, comic, 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 comic books. Novel. All based on the comic book. Jody, if you choose to accept this as a reasonable answer, I, I can't have. fault you. You spend so much time like trying to discredit an answer. Just say why yours is better. Yeah. You know? yeah. I already did. I, I kind of already did. But you want to hear it back again? If you want to say it quickly, yes. Um, oh, crap. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I'll cu- oh I'll my cut them off, god! Don't worry. How amazing! You're fighting Galactus. You're fighting in in uh, like the trenches of Atlantis. You're going up against the Helicarriers, and you're fighting every conceivable villain that you can think of from the Marvel universe with every conceivable character. Them all crossing over. That's what's a great thing about a about a shared universe is that you can integrate these characters and have them all be significant and different stories play out. Like. Depending if you're using Thor or if you're using Spider Man or if you're using uh, Mr. Fantastic. I played that game, and when you play it, like, you play it for like an hour, and you're like, am I still playing this fucking game? Because it's just like, it's you so can, repetitive. You, you know? can even be Deadpool in that game. I know who you can be. Um, the thing is, like, you're like smashing boxes. I need to get coins or whatever you need to fucking get. I forget what it is, but you spend more time getting, like, those coins or whatever. I think they're gears or something in that game. And you spend more time doing that than you do anything else in that game. In my game, at least, it's like a story. It's like almost watching a movie. You know, yours is like playing a video game. Mine's like like watching a movie. There's so many cinematics that like play out a great story. Oh, I fucking hate that shit in video games. I love it. I hate it. I just want to play the fucking game. I don't want to watch a movie. If I wanted to watch a movie, I'd put in a fucking movie. (laughs) It gives you the best of both worlds. (laughs) No, it fucks up both. Uh, and I have a hard time discrediting. Um, <laughs> just, he's like, uh, I'm having a really hard time fighting you, so I'm just gonna go. 
<laughs> I have a hard time discrediting <laughs> Kevin's. I never played his game, but it sounds pretty awesome for the time period. Um, he never uh, played the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, I mean, yesterday. you got to remember, I was born in 89, wow. oh, so by the time I was growing up, uh, N64 was the big deal. So like We had given away our NES by that point. It wasn't uh, around. I remember, uh, what was the one, Super Nintendo? Yeah. I remember that. I don't remember your N- the NES. So yeah, it was gone before you, like, uh, yeah. you were a baby when we got rid of it. Yeah. So Super Nintendo came along. But if I were to say his is a really old game, are you going to go back and play that game? I mean, Kevin, I have, Kevin I have will. Too, though. Kevin will and you will, but I won't because I never played it. I have no nostalgia feel for it. So you're basically saying that your your pick is actually a little bit more common it's, practice. It's more well. current. Um, anyone could play it and go, oh, Batman. But, you know, I mean, not every kid. Uh, a kid like Aimwood would love to go back and play what his, I, his no, game. No, I don't think so. What I, I feel about My games, kids can't the play difference Mega Man. between games back then and games today is... You will go back and play those games from back then because they were more based on like the mechanics and mm-hmm. and, and right. getting good at the game and right. and having that. Whereas once you've kind of seen the story and been through the story mode in most of these games, you're just kind of done. It's with one it. and done. Yeah. It's one and done. But this, actually, if you want to talk replay value, the older games have more replay value than any games you're going to find. I, today. I agree with you there. Mm, true. I'm going to give it to Kevin. I think you were going to give it to Kevin anyway. <laughs> no. No, actually, no. actually, it was more with you. Oh, no. I almost, I almost, was I, I almost close? Picked, I, I almost you actually were close that I time. almost even picked uh, the Batman NES Batman game. Now, if you picked that, I would. See, again, I don't, know. I, good, I don't that know. that game was fucking awesome. That was a good game. I never had like the the need to go back and and play because all the Because you NES didn't games. play those as, as a kid. As a kid. I played N64. Yeah. All the N64 No, for games. me, it's total nostalgia. It's it, it's Yeah. I'm right yeah. in the middle, and I I appreciate both. So right. All okay. right. So doing the math here, I think we actually have Kevin with three, Jeff with two, and Dave with one. So it looks like Dave is out. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Dave. Oh, how could this have happened? What do you mean? How could this <laughs> have happened? <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna go with shitty answers, but okay. No, actually, you did pretty good. I thought uh, you were close on a bunch of them. The I problem is Kevin gave more passion than you for almost passion? everything. You call that he actually passion? had passion? Yeah, absolutely. I call that constipation. <laughs> constipation. <laughs> that last well, that's answer, though was the most passionate <laughs> Kevin's been about something on the show. Probably. Oh yes, he gets as more passionate as the show goes on. I think this well, town needs an enema. Oh, well, this <laughs> town needs an enema. <laughs> When it, com- when it comes to video <laughs> games, <laughs> you and Kevin just, you know, you bust out the nerd factor. And, uh, oh, yeah. I, the I, thing I, is, you know what, I though, don't you know any video it. games really since fucking 1986. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, good, the Ninja Turtles are comic book people. But you know what? It's kind of like, uh, like, you know, film. You know, people like, my favorite movie, Citizen Kane, and you go, fuck, I can't argue you. You know? Yeah, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> All right, so, better movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two. 3? 2. Or what? Is the better movie. 2. 2 or what? 2 or 3. 2 is the Revenge of uh, the Ooze, right? The Ooze one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was the one. 3 is the one where they go back in time to Japan. They're yeah, feudal two. Japan. 100% yeah. of the... You know what? Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, come on. Oh, come okay, on, Kevin. I'll start. Uh, Return of the Ooze is a bad movie, but it's actually fun in certain ways. You know, well, like, it only has to be better than. It's definitely better than three. three. Three is terrible. It's not even synced up right. No, that's how bad that fucking movie is. Yeah. You know, the actors on that movie said this is a piece of shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? like, why bother? <laughs> yeah, why? Why are we making this movie? Yeah, right, you know, uh, two, two is. Uh, I remember it as a kid. I loved it as a kid. I went back and watched it. I was go like, ninja, oh, go this ninja, is bad. go. Yeah. Ninja, it doesn't really hold ninja, up. Go. It doesn't hold up, but one is the best one, and three is like, what? what no, no. Mm. They didn't even sync it up right, like I said. That's Ke- all. I, it was no so, it was right, so inspiring. Yeah. Kevin, can you argue that? The only movie worth a shit in that whole fucking series is the first one, and it's awesome. And no, I can't, because the third one is such a turd. <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's, it's so bad. I just have to agree. <laughs> I can't even. It would be dishonest right. of me to try to Well, if you agree, argue. I got to give it to Jeff. So Jeff gets that point. That's the speed round. That's how it goes. That's Jeff how faster. she goes. All right. Next one. A comic book based character. So a comic book character like we have already in many of the questions that we've had. Uh, one of the TV shows that are running right now that are actually 
running with a superhero theme or, or a uh, comic book are, theme. Are you asking which one's good? No, I want to know which one should be canceled immediately. <laughs> Supergirl. Oh, there you go. Supergirl. That's, that's so hard that's for me because I don't watch any of these. The Flash. The Flash. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right. Tell me why. I don't even know. I've never fucking watched the show, but I know it must be That's terrible. how drawn you've that's been to it. That's how drawn I've been to You're it. You're like, this I'm, is so bad. I'm not even going to try it. I'm not even going to try <laughs> it. Forget it. <laughs> I've tried Arrow, and I actually thought this first season one was pretty good, but not even the whole season. Like, it really kind of sucked by the and end. That's why you changed your answer before Kevin Supergirl, yeah, I've seen a couple of, uh, like, just things about it, and I'm just like, that looks like the biggest piece of shit show I've ever seen. Dude, it's, Dave likes it's, it. Enough said. It's, it's Ally McBeal. <laughs> okay. Okay, no word of a lie. It's Allie McBeal in a slightly different setting with a Supergirl. <laughs> guys, guys, they should call it Allie McSupergirl. It's That's what it should be called. Yeah. It's in its first season. You got, you just gotta believe a little. It's fucking terrible. Even he's admitting it's shit. Oh, it's terrible. It's, it's struggling a little bit right now, <laughs> but, but you know, overall, it's still good. I right. love that he feels the need to defend Supergirl. <laughs> I do, I do. Supergirl is for all of us. It's, yeah. It's for all of us. <laughs> it's for all of us. <laughs> it is not. It is for like oh. girls age eleven and down. No, it's no, for, I don't even think eleven year olds. It's for boys away. too. It's for everybody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a show that should never have been made. When you're asking what show should, which like which character should we erase? I wouldn't erase Supergirl, but I would erase that fucking show because it never should have been made. Anyway, all right, fair enough. All right, Kevin. All right, I went with the Flash because it's, it's on the CW, right? It is. Yeah. Well, it should be canceled because they never fucking cancel anything. They just let it go <laughs> on and on and on and on. I don't know anything about the Flash, but I'm not fucking interested because it's on the CW. Dies It'd be again. a better network if they would just. Cancel the Did they have Smallville? Oh, yeah. yeah CW was, is Smallville. My only yeah. argument against... <laughs> yeah, there's a perfect example of a series that should have died way earlier. It was like a 30... 30- like, they were almost crippled by the time the end of that show was happening. <laughs> They're like, it's a show about... They're like getting seniors pension. <laughs> it's a show about a 30-year-old Clark Kent who hasn't become Superman yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be like a show about Bruce Wayne when he's a kid. Oh, wait, that's Gotham. Isn't oh, that yeah. on the right. CW? So what we're saying is the CW has had a shitty track record. I don't need to see, see the Flash. I know it should I be can relate. I can that's relate. That's true. You're actually on the CW. If you guys, so you guys think that both these shows are wor- uh, Terrible. worse than Gotham. Um, well, I, I, oh, <laughs> he's got a good point there. Again, I've never even watched. I watched the well, first episode of Gotham. Gotham. I and watched I, one episode and went, "I'll never do this." I, again. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I've been watch. I've watched every episode. Really? Yeah. Oh, they're I, terrible. I, I love it. it. It's oh, great, especially no. season two. Like it's gotten so much better. It's like <laughs> it's. <laughs> Everything we hate, he's like, I love it. Honestly, <laughs> so honestly, you don't like. I will give <laughs> Supernatural a try over and over and over again before I even attempt to watch that show again. Yeah, Super yeah. Bird with the Flash. You know, I watched the first couple episodes and I was like, eh, not bad. I watched one episode, not of that bad, too. and then I kept watching and I was like, oh, getting worse, getting worse, getting if, worse, more terrible. If you can't Done. hook me on one episode out of ten episodes, also series, the Flash. What's his superpower? Running fast? He runs fast. Well, that's going to get old fast. No, well, he's like, he can do everything you know fast. No, he can it's do not everything the character's fast. fault. The character's actually kind of cool. He's he's accelerated essentially. He can like oh, move okay. his arms fast. He can read fast. He can do everything he can, fast. No, they don't do his he character justice. Fast. He's data. No, no, he, he can run so fast he can travel back in time. Do they fucking bring that into the plot? In, I don't know. In the show, yes. Really? Oh yeah. Well, then they fucking you know then that's okay, but uh, they probably don't do it right. I they stopped. do. <laughs> I stopped Stop. watching. It's good. The Flash is awesome. It's way better than. It's probably the only. It's way decent CW. It's show. way, way, way better than uh, Supergirl. It, it incredibly so. So I would say that. Is C- Supergirl CW? No, it's CBS. It's, it's CBS. CBS. Uh, yeah. It's a such a terror. Well, it might as well be. So they're doing. They're now. They're they're filming right now. The the Flash it's, it's and Allie Supergirl McBeal. crossover uh, that, that's being filmed right now. Uh, we, th- this proves our point. why both of our answers are terrible shows. They so they're, are. they're making them crossover, and it's going to be a huge ratings but, thing. But the only argument I have against the Flash is that Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman, like Dave, love the Flash because that, we're smart, and you guys aren't. They love that show. Me, Ralph Garman, Kevin Smith, we know it's up. Do you know what they say? They don't love Supergirl because no one likes that show. It's going to be off the air next season. That guaranteed. They need to do something with that. They need I've to actually make- forgotten who's give me what answer. I, I, I'm the Flash. Kind of, okay. I'm the Flash. I was pretty sure I, I, you were the Flash. Okay. If that's the case, then I'm going to give it to Jeff. Yeah, right. 
Let's move on. Unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. So 4-3. So right now, That's Jeff is up three. one. Yeah. I like the All button. right. All right, music. Which one of the Hanson brothers is the worst? All the of them. The, the drummer. The drummer? The <laughs> yeah. little kid? The little, the little kid. one? Yeah. All right. I don't Same even one. know them. Whatever one sings. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the, the middle kid. So that's kid. all of them. That's, 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 that's but the middle, the middle the kid middle is kid. the most. Who one. plays piano? Yeah, the middle kid is the one that sings most. The one that the sings the most? <laughs> yeah. That uh, one. That <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. fair enough. All right, give me the drummer uh, kid. The drummer kid is like the youngest when one. that band first came out. That kid was like seven, and it was it was like I don't dude, even know if he was seven. I don't know how old he was, but I'm guessing he was like around seven or eight. And it's like you do not play drums. Don't try and convince <laughs> me you're playing drums. You're seven years old and playing drums. I don't fucking you're, think so. You're the youngest kid, and the other two brothers were like, "Fucking get some sticks in your hand and beat these fucking things." and make it look like you're fucking playing drums. Also, he was the most annoying looking kid of all of them. Uh, he's just like, ah, I'm playing drums. Ah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> <Hansen. laughs> That's pretty convincing. That, that is pretty point. convincing. All right. What do you got? <laughs> you the think? fucking guy that <laughs> sings, for fuck's sake. Oh, His fucking okay. drums didn't ruin my life. The fucking singing ruined my life. <laughs> The fucking mba. That's pretty compelling. It yeah. wasn't fucking. It wasn't banging on the drums that was annoying. It was mba. <laughs> fucking mba. All right, all right, all right. I'm just giving it to Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's uh, no way he wasn't gonna win that one. Uh, t- yeah, I guess looking back, it was. A little I was just like, say it already. Just do it. Yeah. All just right. end it. All right. For sports, what would be the favorite sport of Professor Xavier? From the X Men, tennis, tennis. <laughs> That's actually not a bad. I'm thing. gonna say football. What? What? Really? Soccer or football? Football. Like what? no, we're like uh, football. American, American, football. American, like American football. football. All right, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, uh, tennis. Okay, so he could sit in the middle, and all he'd have to do is turn his head. So he's not, you know. <laughs> so it's convenience uh, conven- factor. Convenience factor. All right. He could enough. get inside one of the tennis players' heads, and you know, just kind of see what's going on in there, and just kind of see like the strategy, and he could kind of figure it out. He could also sl- stop time and make sure the ball like hit the net or something, just to fuck with them. Um, stuff like that. So I don't he'd know. be really good at cheating at it. He'd be good, really good with fucking with the, the players, because that's what Xavier always does. He always stops time, and he's like fucking. He's always a dick. He's really. always a dick with like his Xavier powers. Xavier is kind of a dick when you think about he it. He probably did control the two guys' minds playing tennis and make them play like super basically fast, right? And like crazy, super hypersensitive. He's tennis. playing against himself, kind of thing. Yeah, he'd it probably be- do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I, said, I don't. I just think Kevin's like, gonna... like I'm in the middle of a nerd sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> He's like these fucking brothers. I, I don't. See, I don't see uh, fucking maters. I, I don't see Xavier like. I find it hard to believe you're not related. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, there was no influence that that happened. Yeah. Um. Uh. I don't see him like in football because I just don't see him liking picture retards. You know, banging into each other kind of thing. You know, like I just don't see him liking it. The reason right. I picked football is because football is the sport that's most like chess. You get your pieces all lined up, and you've got your plays, and the game is is not just a bunch of retards banging into <laughs> each other. That's although it is that it, but it's not only that. No, yeah, it, yes, it is strategy, and it, it it's it's more strategy than tennis. And the, the question is, what he would enjoy the most? Yes. He would enjoy that the yeah. most because he's smart, and I think he would find that more intellectually rich than hitting a ball back and forth. Well, I mean, you're throwing a ball and catching a ball in football, you know. Right, but there's different plays, different. There's there's a reason that so many people like football, right. and that and it's because and he could. You I mean he could stop time? You want to do the stop time thing? He right. can stop time. You can bet on every fucking play. Xavier is also English, so he's gonna like probably more likely to like an English sport than an American sport. You know, so he's I'm just going more based on on what he would like based on his intelligence, and I think I think it, he would find it very intellectually rich to to line up to have all those players. And to line them all up and try to figure out what plays they're going to do. I don't mm-hmm. think he would want to control the game at all. Okay. Yep. He would he would want to try to he would use it sort of like a fucking crossword. I didn't say that Dave did. Right? That's he would he would he would use it like trying to figure out what they were going to do next. I'm going to give this to Kevin and I'm actually shocked I was going to give it to Kevin because when he said football I'm like you're fucking retarded. 
Like well, seriously, but yeah, yeah. he does make a very good point. I like, would the say, whole chess thing. But actually. I would say tennis is also strategy involved. Because there, oh, there's absolute strategy yeah, in tennis. But but you're talking don't miss. People. That's the strategy. Right. Versus don't miss two the people. Fucking right. Ball. I think tennis is more like chess than football because tennis is one on one, just like chess is, and it is a strategy. I'm going to hit the ball here to see what you're going to do, or I'm going to hit the ball here, and if you don't. Like no, think football, what I football think. is more there's like not, chess. Right? There's not infinite combination, Fo- though. Football, is, one of the football is more like chess because you have coach against coach controlling their players. Um, all right. Which comic book character could would you want to send back in time to kill Hitler? <laughs> oh, uh, Magneto. All right. You? It's fucking shit. Fucking uh, shit. <laughs> Magneto's a good answer. <laughs> that is a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do we need to argue this? I want to hear Robin. Yeah. I want to hear Robin at least. We already know why Ben Mew is good. Is it, all, is it all right if I give you know, Robin yeah, the first? You yeah, go. Jeff's right. going first on all of these. I'll I'm go. just, I'm just kind of interested. I'm, I'm, I'm totally interested. I'll go first. I'll go first on Robin. All right, because he might fucking lose, and I hate Robin. <laughs> <laughs> and so what, you want Hitler to win? I don't know which one's worse, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I like his answer. Wow. I mean, they do eventually defeat Hitler. And lots of people got to die, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, you can stop that. <laughs> which is not good. But you, So you, you would just send him back to send him to his death? <laughs> I hate <Bob. laughs> Hitler was shooting. He really them. fucking hates Robin. <laughs> but Hitler's way worse. Like, come on. I don't know. I think yeah, that's probably, the whole point. But, you know. <laughs> but it is Robin. <laughs> Kevin's like, no you way. know what? A world without Robin is worth 13 million Jews. <laughs> like, yeah. that's I, I think that's a little yeah. harsh, Kevin. No, for the record, I didn't actually <laughs> say <record>. that. <laughs> I'm not for that. I think that's a little harsh, too. Yeah, I like Robin. He's, like, he's a boy. You're basically saying, hey, kid, go fucking not kill it. Go kill Hitler. And it's he basically... Quotes. Good luck. Quotes. Here's an unloaded gun. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, so why Magneto? Do I even do explain it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go with no and you win. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's uh, a tie. Uh, is it tied? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is tied. All up. right, last question for the win. It's all this, boys. Everything. It's all this. Best sports team with Dave as a mascot. So you can take any existing sports team. All right. Uh, so any existing sports team, no matter regardless of sports, if Dave was their mascot, what would make that the what would make them better? What did he? What did Jeff? How pick? could how could Dave uh, basically? What did, what did you pick? Uh, Calgary, Cal- Flames. Calgary Flames. <laughs> oh, did you see the thought process on that? That was pretty sweet. He's like, Calgary Flames, that's fucking. Wait a second. I'm going go, to go with the uh, Washington Redskins. What? <laughs> I want to hear Kevin first. That's fine. I want to, too. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> with Dave as the mascot, because I think Dave would be hilarious. <laughs> fucking jumping around. Like a fucking Indian with the red face on and the fucking feathers in his fucking hat or whatever. <laughs> dancing around on the field, that would be fucking hilarious. But that could happen for any sports thing. Like, he could do that as any sports mascot, I think. Yeah, but they're the Redskins. <laughs> I, would not be a pr- I would not be a participant to this. Uh, I don't think you have a choice. Okay, so Dave definitely. This is my would, world. You're in it. Dave definitely would be a participant <laughs> for the Calgary Flames. He's wearing a fucking Flames hat as it is right now. Yeah, Flames, um, Flames are the best. You know, better he, than all the he, rest. He would put his. Uh, they're better than the Maple Leafs. He right would now. put his entire Flames soul into that mascot performance. I'd be Harvey the Hound. He would be Harvey the Hound, which is the actual <laughs> mascot for the Flames, whose tongue sticks out. He's the first <laughs> he was the first mascot. He's the first mascot. Dave would fucking wear that with pride. <laughs> yeah, but Dave in red face. 
Well, with they, a fucking feather in his hat. <laughs> David <laughs> Dawn. Dancing around. I mean, I could have. You know what's funny? Is, is, Bitches, what, come what, fight. You know what's funny? Bitches. It's kind of like the two opposites. With the flames, Dave would be all into it and would just love it. And with the Redskins, it'd be like, it would be like a, a public humiliation. He would it in. Please. 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 <laughs> you gotta, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It do- you know him. It does not matter what team it is. If he's on the field, he's in He's it. doing it right. I not, <laughs> but I would not be. Why would I join that team? Even he's even Pay saying money, money. Oh, lots of it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I, I will. I All will, right, guys, you made a really good point I, here. I, There's I, money involved. I will go do the most racist mascot in all the sports. <laughs> as long what as, is their mascot? Is it actually like an Indian? I don't like, have a fucking clue. I should look it up. You should look it up because I we know. I what think the Dave is. should be their mascot. Yeah, you think it should just be Dave with red face, which is yeah, probably the most insensitive racist mascot there Absolute probably ever could be. Absolutely, and, and that's kind of why it's funny. That's kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really the most politically correct no, no, person. No. I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying no. with with Harvey the Hound or what or the Flames mascot, um, Dave would just put, if he was the mascot would just put like 110 percent into it. If he was the Redskins mascot, it would just be he would just stand there and be like, "Oh shit!" No, we figured wouldn't. out even what the on the field mascot he's 110 <laughs> percent. This appears to be their mascot. <laughs> <laughs> now put Dave in that. I'm good to put you in that picture. By the way, I know how to do that. So. <laughs> That's their mascot. Are you sure? I I don't. Even I want to see Dave dressed. It's like a black that. guy. It's a black dude. Yeah. What's Dave sure? is street? Dave is street. All right. I'm gonna make a decision. So <laughs> so Dave, hypothetical question: If per year you're offered ten million dollars to be the mascot for the Washington Redskins, but you would only get paid five hundred thousand dollars to do it for uh, his, which one would you pick? Have you been following? So so, so basically, would you sell your soul? Or would you do what you want for less money? I think I would pick Calgary Flames five hundred thousand dollars a year. Would you? Yeah. I, think so, eh? I I feel like I would go with my heart. I I feel like deep down I'm a good guy. I don't think that that's true though. It, it's kind of hard to discredit. I don't Dave. think that makes you necessarily he, a good Dave guy. Dave could never be in a serial killer movie. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to sell no, Dave he'd as be a the serial victim. killer. <laughs> he'd be the victim. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's what I'm trying to say. You have your two sides. You have the serial killer and you have the victim. Dave would be the victim. All right. So who won the game? If I had to pick one, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, Jeff. Oh, well. Jeff wins. Jeff, I'm surprised yeah. I like. Kevin was gonna win. No, I I, I like your answer better. The way you did it. That Jeff was last episode. Jeff, Jeff wins. Wins. Jeff wins. Jeff Congratulations, Thank Jeff. You, congratulations to Jeff. And congratulations to Kevin for not sucking like Dave. Well, you know, I, I suck in an entirely different way. I got music. <laughs> I don't leave stains on the yeah, microphone yeah. stands. He actually did really good on music. <laughs> music is always the one I, I do well on. Yeah, you do, you do well on music. music. Which is shocking as fuck. But then I guess I do pretty well in sports. So. Yes, you do. <laughs> Sadly. Jeff, I think, is kind of like me. You kind of just spread out over everything. I was surp- well, I I was like I was like I'm never gonna win the what was it the TV question I was like but then I, I thought you were gonna win that one I, I thought I was gonna Absolutely. win that was the most uh, we were laughing and then uh, you picked Kevin I was and yeah, I, thought, I, I was like what did Kevin, Kevin pick and then you, your original answer was actually really good so yeah I I yeah. said my original answer and then I spent the rest of the time talking about your answer yeah yeah because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you were like damn I wanted to pick my work <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. All right. Well, either way, Where everybody's a criminal. Poor Ben. Poor Ben. He's <laughs> We're uh, passed done. out. Is he passed out now? All right. Cool. Get the marker. <laughs> We're gonna draw a dick on his We're face. We're gonna draw a dick on his big old cock right on his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We had to sign off. All right. How should we sign off? I'm Dave Mater. Okay, yeah. For, for all of us here at Trivial Debates, we'd like to thank you for listening this week, and we hope to have you back next week. He sounds like a librarian. I'm really not a racist. Make sure you. <laughs> I'm make not sure you put the books I on just, the card. I just think things are funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a racist, and no. He just plays it. one on the radio. I don't even play one. I'm not. They just say I am. I'm not. I'm, no, we're not. I love everybody. That. I I'm a multiculturalist. I hate everybody equally. I love everybody, unless they're in the fucking grocery store. I'm Dave Mater. Or I'm Hansen. against racism. Good for you. I'm Jody Simpson, and I'm a what a bold stance, too. hero. <laughs> <laughs> and a hero <laughs> was born. I'm Dave Mater, and 
I'll see you on the flip side. Uh, Fuck Jesus you and your flip fucking side. Fucking Christ. Fuck Fuck the flip side. On. I'm also Dave Mater, and I will not see you on the flip side. <laughs> what about you? I'm Dave Mater. And You're I'm, Dave Mater, and too. And I'm breaking through to the other side. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, I'm Jody He's a better Simpson. Dave than I am. I'm Jody Simpson, and I only have a B side. <laughs> anyway, we're done. I Bye. think we Fuck are. Fuck off. Goodbye. <laughs>